The US Army has restricted access to the Guardian website over its revelations of the NSA's snooping activities. The British Daily has been breaking the news from Edward Snowden, shedding the light on a number of secret documents. Artie Sarah Firth is following the story in London. This information is regarding reports in the US media uh, that the US military, it seems, have admitted to them that they have been filtering uh, content um, regarding government surveillance programs. And this came on the back of reports about complaints from a, a US base in San Francisco uh, that the uh, staff there weren't able to access any of the UK Guardian website uh, and only partial access to the US Guardian website. They said it seems that this is to do with something called network hygiene. Now, this is preserving uh, their system from any threat uh, externally or internally. And uh, I spoke to the MOD press office here in the UK uh, and asked them if anything similar was, of course, being done with the, the British military. Uh, and they told me that the, this wasn't happening. What was being done in the US right now uh, wasn't happening here, although they did say uh, that in relation to their computer systems in the military, there is some information that is sometimes restricted for security purposes. It is raising questions about that suppression of information. And to talk more about that, I'm joined by political analyst Rodney Shakespeare. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, I think the first question to ask is, these are classified documents that have been released by a whistleblower. And of course, in a very similar way to what we saw with WikiLeaks, although there's been this public release, they're still classified documents. So, I mean, are the US military justified in, you know, preserving their system in this way? It's nothing to do with network hygiene. It is straight attempt to suppress and to control what is being read and understood by, in this case, uh, the soldiers. The other side of the coin is the American government and the British government are looking at all the internet, all the mobile appliances, all the landline telephones of you, me, American citizens, British citizens, and every single person watching this program. So it's a little sign, ridiculous sign, because those soldiers can actually get hold of that information. Of course, they have mobile phones and computer access elsewhere. No problem at all. Yeah. But it's part of an overall increasing encroachment on uh, free speech and access to information. The Department of Defense actually said in their response that they're not going to block websites from the American public in general. Uh, and that would violate, they said, the highest held principle of upholding and defending the Constitution. So they've made it clear this is just uh, the part of the US system. They are lying. When they talk about democracy, they arm throat slitters, gas chokers, and head choppers. When they talk about free speech, they are shutting down as many things as they do. You have no reason now to believe one single thing that the American government uh, says. The bottom line of all this, they're out to control. Uh, the information. And they normally do it by omission in the American channels. It's not so much they lie, they just don't tell the truth.